Hey guys, now there's been a debate on really what kind of foods uh, cause uh, reflux symptoms, talking about GERD, gastroesophageal reflux disease. What kind of foods are responsible for causing uh, these reflux symptoms? And certain foods have really been shown to cause uh, problems for some people. And so to control the symptoms then, uh, it's important that you should start by eliminating these foods uh, off of your diet. And also quickly run through those foods that could really expose you. I mean, the common trigger foods for people with reflux disease. Again, common trigger foods for people with acid reflux disease. Number one is high fat foods. Now, fried and fatty foods can cause uh, the less, the lower esophageal sphincter to relax and allowing more stomach acid to back up into the esophagus. Now, these foods also delay stomach emptying, okay? The foods will stay longer in your stomach before they're emptied to the next uh, part uh, on their way to the small intestine. Now, eating high food, uh, high fat foods will put you at a greater risk for reflux symptoms. So, reducing your total daily fat intake can help a lot. Now, the following foods have a high fat content. Avoiding them will be a good decision choice for you. Uh, French fries and onion rings, full fat dairy products such as butter, whole milk, regular cheese and sour cream, uh, fatty or fried carrots of beef, pork, lamb, bacon fat, ham fat and lard, desserts or snacks such as ice creams and potato chips, uh, cream sauces, gravies and creamy salad diets, uh, dressings, and then oily and greasy foods. These foods are rich in fat, guys, and so doing your best to avoid them will really help. Just to run through them once again, are uh, the french fries and the onion rings, are uh, full fat dairy products such as butter, whole milk, regular cheese and sour cream, fatty or fried cuts of beef, uh, fried cuts of pork, fried cuts of cuts of lamb, uh, bacon fat, ham fat, lard, desserts or snacks such as ice creams and potato chips, uh, cream sauces, gravies and creamy salad diet, I mean dressings, and oily and greasy foods. Now the other group of foods that you should really avoid guys to help in uh, with your acid reflux disease are these tomatoes and citrus foods. Now, fruits and vegetables are important in a healthy diet, but certain foods can cause or even worsen the gastroesophageal reflux disease symptoms, especially high, those that are high in acidity. In acidity. Uh, if you have frequent acid reflux, you should reduce or eliminate your intake of some of the following foods. Foods such as oranges, these are foods that are really acidic. Oranges, grapefruits, lemons, the limes, pineapples, tomatoes, tomato sauces or foods uh, they use it, such as pizza and chili, and also salsa. Again, you should avoid oranges, grapefruits, the limes, lemons, pineapples, tomatoes, tomato sauces, or even foods they use it, such as the pizza and the chilies, and even salsa. All right, they are rich in acidic, they are very high in, ash, in acid, which is what works against you here. So you've got to eliminate it. Now, another group of food, another group of foods that could really trigger uh, your acid reflux is chocolate. Now, chocolate contains an ingredient called uh, methylxanthine, and it has been shown to basically relax the lash, the smooth, the, the lower esophageal sphincter, and therefore increase the reflux. The chance that the stomach acid gastric content will be reflux back to the esophagus and, and, and easily cause the reflux is very high because of this compound ingredient that is contained in chocolate, the methylxanthine. Uh, another group of foods that you should really avoid here is garlic, onions, and the spice and most spicy foods. Now, spicy and tangy foods uh, such as onions and garlic trigger headburn symptoms in many people. Uh, these foods won't trigger reflux in everybody though. But if you eat a lot of onions and a lot of garlic, uh, make sure that you're able to track your meals carefully in your diary. Some of these foods along with spicy foods may bother you more than other foods. So take a note, garlic, onions and spicy foods. 
Now, a mint is also another thing that you might, that is quite a trigger for your acid reflux. Now, mint and products with mint flavor are like chewing gums and breath mints that can also trigger acid reflux symptoms. So you gotta uh, take a note on that. Now, other options while uh, the list above uh, including uh, include just the common triggers. You may have unique intolerances to other foods. And again, sometimes this is just individual based guys. And you might consider eliminating uh, the following foods for uh, about three to four weeks to see if the symptoms will be able to, to capsize or go down. Uh, dairy foods and flour based products like bread, crackers, and the whey protein. Okay, now in addition to uh, these foods that we, we talked about, uh, I mean the common triggers, the high fat diet foods, uh, tomatoes and citrus foods, chocolate, mint, garlic, onions and spicy foods, um, there are also some important lifestyle changes that you may have to do, okay, to help you in reducing uh, the signs, you know, the guard signs and symptoms. Now, uh, in addition to controlling the reflux symptoms with diet and nutrition, you can manage these symptoms with lifestyle changes. And some of the tips that you can try is number one, avoiding alcohol, uh, stopping smoking, don't overeat, just eat slowly, and then remain in upright position for at least two hours post eating, uh, maintaining a healthy weight, uh, chewing gum that it's that isn't uh, you know peppermint or or spearmint flavored. We talked about mint here, okay. So any gum, chewing gum that is rich in mint, just avoid it. Uh, then you can also uh, take anti-acids and other medications that reduce acid production. That is like 30 minutes before meals. But there's a caution here: overuse can also have some negative uh, side effects on you. Now. Uh, uh, another lifestyle changes that you can do is avoiding tight clothing. Uh, don't eat for three to four hours before going to bed. Okay. When you go to bed, then the last time that you eat food should be at least three to four hours before. Don't just eat food now and get to bed. Guys, it will be hard for you. Actually sleeping will even be very, very, very uh, impossible. Uh, raise the head of your bed for to you know uh, bed just about four to six inches to help reduce the reflux symptoms while sleeping. So thank you so much, guys. Uh, this uh, are just some of the uh, foods that are, you know the common trigger foods for people with reflux. The other triggers out there, uh, as I've heard people talk about foods that are rich in pepper, a lot of pepper could also have some negative effect, you know, impact on you. It could also trigger uh, reflux. So if there's any other common trigger for reflux uh, foods out there that we've not talked about, kindly let us know by dropping them on the comment section below. Uh, we'll be glad to learn. Again, science is a very dynamic field and a lot of researchers are done every single day. So help us learn as we help you to learn also. So thank you so much. If you've not yet subscribed to LSC channel, make sure you subscribe uh, There's a subscription button below here and join this uh, family as we get to study cancer and other diseases and natural remedies to combat in the shell. Thank you so much. You take off yourself. See you in the next episode.